So good morning or good night depending on where you are in the world and welcome to another album review of The Shield Dude on a Couch. I'm your host Hector and tonight we're going to talk about a debut album from the band Cathartic. And Cathartic is a band from New York City which is a one-man project from Douglas Burns and he produced this album while on the pandemic he got an eight-string guitar and he just started doing music and it turned out to be this debut album which is called Dreams Are the Only Safe Place to Hide and you have to ask yourself are dreams really the only safe place to hide? I would say Freddy Krueger would state otherwise but let's find out so this is a debut album it's nine tracks and most of the tracks are norm uh, it, there's not a track that I think is longer than four the four minute mark so it's an album that really flows well so the band is is you know supposedly they play extreme metal but they have a lot of like elements to their music they have alternative rock in the music they also have some new metal elements and there's even a power ballad if you will on the album so they blend everything but the most important thing about these songs is that in extreme metal if it's just extreme uh, it can get tedious but these songs all have melody and that's something that I look for in an album like yes I like some extreme heavy music but if they have a melodic side to them that makes them work better so there's a concept to this album uh, that you know it, uh, Douglas uh, Burns had like a like a dream and the album starts with an opening track that's called Sleep and sleep, is, he's just saying over and over again, there's nothing left to do but cry. There's nothing left to do but cry. And then it goes into the lead single, which is called Funeral. And Funeral, as a lead single, really works well with this album because I think that song has all the elements that make up cathartic. You know, it has heavy guitars. Uh, it has some extreme metal vocals, but also there's a part in the song where the extreme goes down and there's like almost like a spoken segment to it where he's stating that you know he's at the funeral of this person that he used to love and and basically it's like you're at a funeral of someone that you used to love and and you dreamt about it and it's kind of creepy but but it makes for a great fucking song and the uh, this song funeral is all about uh the singer having a dream that he's seen an ex-lover that did him wrong and she's in a coffin so it's it's kind of like a revenge dream if you will so it's a great track and I like the the guitars on it and I like when it gets like really heavy but I like that it takes a breather and it's not heavy all the way through and when it it slows down there's like a like some like really clean guitars and and use of like the those vocal melodies that are more spoken word that really serve well because it's like the eulogy in a funeral so that makes it a great single then you have tracks like the needle that i really love because that track really uh re it has a lot of new metal elements to it especially the way that dog is singing it's like a sort of like rapping if you will and there's even a, a song uh, uh, like a line in the song that he says no shelter that is a, a line that from a song in Rage Against the Machine but also there's part in that song that sounds like alternative like let's say like a little bit of like those alternative brunch bands from the 90s in that song so that's a really interesting song and one of my favorites on the album and that's the song that there's a line that it says uh, dreams are the only safe place to hide so they use that line in that song and you know it works well for the song then you have straight up bangers like shuffle the bodies die like a warrior and shuffle the bodies there's a great guitar solo on it and i like it because the the way that he's like shuffle the bodies and screaming i don't know why it reminded me a little bit of like let the bodies hit the floor by drowning pool just a little bit well it has the word bodies in it so there you go and die like a warrior uh when uh, the singing sounds a little bit like among a barf uh but not so biking metal but the way 
that the death metal vocals are sung really sound like uh, they're death metal, but you know that Among Amarf has those vocals where you can like chant along to them, put your fist in there. That's what this song feels like to me. Then you have songs like there's a song that it's a power ballad, but it's like a power ballad like 90s with a little bit of 80s and it's called Step Into The Light. And here the clean singing takes over and this is a very good track, especially in the vocal performance. I really like it because uh, the clean vocals work well. So when there's a little bit of harsher vocals on the on the song, it, it makes for a different dynamic and, and good dynamic, if you will. So. Then there's like uh, more uh, punchier, straight to the po uh, point songs like Detoxify and Still Fighting. And that's a theme in this album, you know, it, it's all about like uh, not letting uh, things take you down and, and keeping up the good fight. And then the album ends with the song Letting Go. And Letting Go starts with some synthesizers at the beginning. And then you have some great like uh, uh, like melodic guitars to it, some harsher vocals, but more like ethereal and it let it it ends like on a more like somber and like a septic tone, like let, let go of all the shit. And I really think it's a great album closer. So in conclusion, uh, this album by Cafardi, which is a debut album, is a great album. You know, dreams are the only safe place to hide. Uh, it's an album that I like because it blends different musical like genres and it's not only like extreme metal all the way through. Uh, it's a very interesting and solid debut album. If you want to know more about this album, I actually had an interview with Douglas Burns uh, a few weeks ago and we really talk about the themes that are explored in this album and song meaning. So if you haven't checked that out, I'm going to put the link somewhere around here so you can check out that interview. So if you haven't heard uh, Cathartic, uh please do so. Uh, it's a great uh, up and coming band. So if you like the videos that I'm putting out, do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to give me a like. And also when you listen to this album, let me know what tracks did you enjoy and why. So until next time, people, this is Hector, the shield dude on a couch, and I'll see you right here on the couch. Thank you, and good night.